The Polaroid camera is also known as an instant camera, a type of camera that produces a developed photo within minutes after the photo is taken. The instant camera was invented by Edwin Land in 1947 through his company Polaroid Corporation and was an instant hit. People were fascinated by the instantly developed photos which seemed to appear like magic. But the process is actually quite simple. So how does it work? The simple explanation of how a Polaroid works is that the secret is in the film. The bottom white part of an instant film actually contains chemicals that will develop the photo. After a photo is taken and the image is captured on the surface of the film, the camera will then squeeze the film through rollers that will spread the chemicals over the film to develop the photo. The process of taking a photo and capturing it onto the film actually follows the same principles of a regular film camera. Patterns of light travel into the camera through the lens. When the shutter button is pressed, it will open the shutter and allow the pattern of light to be captured onto the film. Regular photography film contains a plastic base coated with a silver compound that will turn into silver atoms when exposed to photons of light. Colored film has three layers of silver compound. The top layer is sensitive to blue light. The middle layer is sensitive to green light, and the bottom layer is sensitive to red light. When the film is exposed to light, each layer will react to the color it is sensitive to and the light patterns will form a negative image. The negative image is formed by the complementary dye colors of yellow, magenta, and cyan. Instant camera film is the same as regular film, but it contains four extra layers of chemicals on top that will develop the photo. These layers include the reagent layer, the image layer, the timing layer, and the acid layer. The reagent is very important because it is the layer of chemicals that will begin all the chemical reactions. Before the picture is taken, the reagent sits at the border of the film and does not touch the light sensitive layers. When the picture is taken, the film will move through the rollers which will roll out the reagent to spread it over the film. The reagent is made of opacifiers, which are light blockers, alkali, which are acid neutralizers, and white pigments, which reflect light. So what exactly is the reagent doing? Well, first of all, it reacts with the light sensitive layers and dye developers to create the captured image on the image layer. At the same time, the opacifiers in the reagent block light from reaching the image layer. This is to prevent exposure of light while the photo is still developing. When the photo is completely developed on the image layer, the neutralizers in the reagent will react with the acid layer to clear the opacifiers. This will allow the image to be displayed. The timing layer is there to slow down the reagent as it makes its way to the acid layer. This prevents clearing of opacifiers before the image is fully developed. After you take an instant photo and it first comes out of the camera, you will notice that it is a whitish gray color. What you are seeing is the pacifiers from the reagent blocking light from the developing photo. As the image slowly appears, what you are actually seeing is the reaction with the acid layer clearing the pacifiers. Finally, your finished product is a developed photo. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.